That didn't work very well, did it? There we go. Um, hey everyone, Kim Richards here from Rock to Stage NYC here on YouTube and RPMVocalStudio.com on the web for voice lessons worldwide. What is the ultimate goal of a singer? What goal should they have immediately? Um, and that is basically get the range that you can do now comfortably and make that sound awesome. Don't worry about lower notes or higher notes or expanding your range and all that kind of stuff right away. Take the, the range that you can sing now and make that sound really awesome. Make it sound full, make it sound easy to do, make it sound smooth, no bumps, no hiccups, anything in that. And then expand it out. A couple of notes, three notes in each direction, a little bit lower, a little bit higher, help balance out the voice. Do it in little steps, then make that range sound awesome. Smooth, seamless, and then expand. Too many people want to start with a very short little range and then try to expand it like that right away. Mm -mm. It's got to be done in little stages so that you can make that little jump in range that you're doing in each direction full, strong, resonant, comfortable, easy to do. And then you tack on a couple of more notes. Not a lot of notes. Don't try for five, six notes. Just tack two on it. Like, let's say your highest note you can sing now, say this, is this E above middle C here. Your goal then is to try to get to the F sharp or the G and make that sound awesome. Then once you've got that where it's too easy to do, go to the A. Two notes up and make that sound awesome. Get that really comfortable. Because now what you've done now, if you get that A sounding really super cool, that G, that F sharp, that F, that E, that D will sound big and huge. You can lean on them and make them really big. Then you expand out. But always don't forget to neglect your lower notes too. Expand the lower range as well because that helps balance out and strengthen the support area of the vocal range. Um, it helps strengthen the overall, basically, uh, function and coordination of creating sound if you balance out the lower notes as well. Too many people are so, con so, so concerned with their upper range that they neglect strengthening uh, and smoothing out their middle and lower ranges. And you do this in little spurts, little at a time. Don't, don't fall for this, you know, I'm gonna put an octave on your voice in one lesson. What's that gonna sound like? Um, yeah, I mean, I got someone who can barely sing past middle C here. I can get them to do this high C, going like this. There, I've just put an octave on your voice. But is it usable? Is it a usable octave that you can sing with, that you can do repeatedly over and over and over again? for an hour. Probably not in one lesson. You have to do it in little stages so that you are adding a couple of notes, make those sound big and huge and strong, strengthen that coordination, strengthen the process, make it feel relaxed and easy, and then tack on a couple of more. You kind of have to do this in little baby steps. That's how we grow range. It's not about, well, I can only sing to the E here above middle C, but I want to be able to do like the high D, E, F, and G5. That's nowhere near anything you can do yet. Try to get to the G4, the G above middle C first. Make that sound awesome. And then get to the A, work your B, then work your C, D, and E. You got to do it in little steps, okay? So work your range in gradual steps. That's your ultimate goal is to try to increase your strength, stability, flexibility, and range in little steps. Grow your range in little baby steps, okay? Don't try to run before you're walking, okay? And right now, if all you can get is kind of in this middle C, D, E, you're kind of crawling at the moment. So walk to that G, and then you can walk a little bit more, and you can start running to the upper ranges. Don't try to get too far ahead of yourself. You basically impede your progress and make it harder for you, and you get discouraged and give up. Uh, so do it in little baby steps, and you're better off, okay? Uh, please, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. Ask questions below. Share this video wherever you like. Check out the description in there. There is a link to buy both my vocal courses. Um, for half, 50% off, just 50 bucks, normally $100 together. Uh, digital download versions. Uh, check out the, the link in the description there. Uh, please share this video, ask questions below. I'm more than happy to, to, um, to uh, answer them, subscribe, share, whatever you like. Uh, Till next time, this is Kevin Richards. Rock on, train hard, sing hard, see ya.